Alright guys, so now we're graphing a parabola in the form of y equals x minus h squared plus k. And the very first thing you need to do is find the vertex because it'll basically cut your work in half. So the vertex is always in h, k. So if we look at our formula, we know h is just 2, don't include the minus. If you want to think about it in another way, it's always the opposite of this number. And then k is just 3. So we have 2 and then 3. So that's our vertex. If we go over on the graph, we can plot that. So we go 2 and then up to 3. So there's our first point. All right. So now for the other two or other four points, we just go 1, 0, 3, 4. So we just go 2 on each side by intervals of 1. All right, what we do with these is we plug it into this equation. So we have y equals 0 minus 2 squared plus 3. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. Make sure we add our 3. So we get 7. So we'll put 7 in our y column. Go to the graph, 0, 7. All right, and now we're also going to plug in 1. So now we do 1 minus 2 squared plus 3. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1 squared plus 3. Negative 1 squared is just 1. 1 plus 3 equals 4. So that's our second point, 1, 4. So we go up to 1, then 4, and that's our second point. I think I wrote the vertex a little off, so I'll move it over some. All right, for our last two, we know a parabola is actually symmetric. So what that means is across the vertex, it'll just flip over. So we don't have to do these two points. We can just write four, seven. And if you want to check that, you can plug these numbers into that formula, and you'll get the same thing. So if we plot those, we know we're at three, four, and four, seven. So there's our five points. And on Alex, you'll have a button to click to draw the line. But on paper, you just have to connect the dots.